Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to help you set up Fiddler Everywhere on your Mac OS system. But before we start, if you're wondering what Fiddler Everywhere is, this is a neat little network debugging proxy tool loved by millions of developers worldwide. Fiddler Everywhere is used to inspect, debug, mock, and even share network requests and responses on any device which supports a proxy. So every request you make when you open a web page in any browser, be it on your desktop or mobile, Fiddler Everywhere can capture it, inspect it, and even modify it for you. And the best part is that it works with all web browsers, desktop apps, processes, and platforms. So if you have still not downloaded Fiddler Everywhere, head over to the Fiddler Everywhere page on Telerik.com and download it now. Fiddler Everywhere is now available on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So now that you have an overview of what Fiddler Everywhere is, let's deep dive into getting started with Fiddler Everywhere. So when you open Fiddler Everywhere, you will be welcomed with a sign-in page. If you're a new user, you might have to create a new account or if you're an existing user, you can just sign in using your user ID or email. And if you're lazy like me, you could just sign in using Google. There you go. Fiddler Everywhere has now signed in using the Google authentication. The first thing after you sign in to Fiddler Everywhere that you need to do is enable HTTPS debugging. The reason for this is majority of the traffic on the internet nowadays is primarily in HTTPS protocol, but Fiddler Everywhere by default only captures the HTTP protocol traffic. To do this, all you need to do is head over to the gear icon at the top right corner, which will open the settings menu. The first thing you need to do is hit the trust root certificate so that you can install the root certificate on your machine. After authenticating, the Fiddler root certificate will get trusted automatically. Next, you need to click the capture HTTPS traffic checkbox right below that and save and close the window. Also, by default, Fiddler does not decode the traffic coming in, which is why you need to click the decode button, which is right below the live traffic tab. And that's it. You are set to decode and inspect web sessions. Let's hit the Telerik web page to make sure that it's working. You will notice that the web sessions have started getting recorded. And right here is the Telerik web session that we used. On, the, on my right, you can see there is the inspected tab, which has the request headers and the response headers. The request headers pretty much have all the headers used to fetch the request. Whereas in the response, you see what was returned from the server. Now, if you want to see the text that has come on the web page, you can head over to the text tab and you will see all the HTML within this tab. If this looks confusing, Fiddler Everywhere makes it really simple for you to visualize all of this. Just hit the web tab and you can actually see the entire page loaded on your tab. And that's how you get started with Fiddler Everywhere. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to support you. I look forward to seeing how you use Fiddler Everywhere.